Hello everyone, it's your favourite queen, Android18 here, and welcome to a new discussion video for Dragon Ball. Today I'm going to be discussing something pretty interesting and something you guys might disagree with. However, I'm going to say why I think Hercule, or Mr. Satan, is actually a really strong human in the Dragon Ball universe. And at first, you guys might be laughing and going, well, Mr. Saiyan's weak, that's like a joke in the series. Which is kind of true in a way, but when you think about it, everyone in the Dragon Ball universe that's a main or side character, as like one of Goku's friends or Goku himself, is ridiculously powerful compared to like normal humans, obviously. So when you take this into account and actually look at Hercule's feats, it's actually quite surprising. So let's have a quick little refresh on Hercule's achievements and backstory. So he's actually known on Earth as the like the savior and hero of the Earth, Mr. Satan. And he's won the World Martial Arts Tournament more than once, which is something none of the Z Fighters, to any of our knowledge, have done. Because if you remember, Goku's only won it once because he beat Piccolo. And after that, whenever he's been in the tournament, it's been interrupted. So, he's never had a chance to win it a second time. And Tian Shenhan also won it once, but never won it more than once, because obviously all the other fighters, or most of them, got stronger than him. So, although he's entering tournaments, he's not winning them. So, for Hercule to actually win it more than once is actually a very impressive feat. And although none of the actual, like, Z fighters are in those tournaments, it does show that Hercule is actually pretty strong, because he obviously would have to defeat every other normal human you know, who entered into the tournament. So that does make quite a bit of sense. So immediately, out of all the natural humans, without knowledge of like, key control, he is pretty much the strongest human. So that's actually very interesting when you think about it, because apart from like, Krillin and all the other characters that know about key, he is pretty much the strongest human on Earth that doesn't use key, apart from Vidal, I would say. But obviously Vidal and Mr. Satan have never actually fought officially in the ring before. However, I think Mr. Satan would do a little better than people give him credit for, because him and Vidal are pretty much quite strong. Vidal's, from what we can tell, is stronger than Mr. Satan by quite a bit of a margin. However, when you think about it, Vidal actually knows how to use Ki a little bit thanks to Gohan, so if we're literally just talking about straight up characters who don't know how to use Ki, Mr. Satan is definitely the strongest. Okay, so number two, he obviously fought Sal in the Sal games and lost badly. If you remember, he kind of got slapped and he, <laughs> he flew across several hundred meters and smashed us into a, a huge, like, rock. And he is, like, knocked out and by this, obviously, but he actually survives it. So when you actually think about it, and this is kind of played for laughs and kind of not at the same time. And although Sal wasn't really trying, he still took a hit from Sal, was sent hundreds of meters into the air and smashed into a rock. And he hit the kind of huge rock with so much force it broke. So if we actually take this into a account, Mr. Satan is actually very durable for a normal human. Like any normal person would be dead by this easily. And when you think about it, that's actually pretty damn impressive. Although Mr. Satan is normally like ridiculed for being weak and he's like the majority of the time played for laughs, he actually does have some pretty impressive feats. And like he even attacked Sal as well and landed lots of punches. And from what we can see in that scene, he's actually pretty darn fast as well. Like, I don't think Kid Goku would find him so easy to beat at the start of Dragon Ball, so that does actually say something because Mr. Satan is incredibly fast for someone who doesn't use Ki, and he's pretty much at peak physical human condition for people who don't use, like, energy and Ki attacks and, you know, use Ki to manipulate their speed. So when you actually think about it, Mr. Satan's actually very underrated as a fighter, although it's very easy to, like, just play him off as a weakling. For a normal human, he's quite strong, so... I think people need to remember that. And there's also a couple of other instances where we, we actually see him fight. So you can see that he isn't just all talk. Like compared to the other Z fighters, he's kind of weak as a kitten. He can't do anything to them. But if Mr. Satan was in our world, Mr. Satan would definitely not be a person you want to fight in like 
a bar or anything. Like, he would sit your ass down for the 10 second count if you get that reference. So, <laughs> yeah, Mr. Satan is pretty darn strong. And don't forget that he also taught Vidal how to actually fight. So, all of Vidal's, or most of Vidal's fighting skills were originally, like, nurtured by Mr. Satan. Because obviously, as the strongest man on the, in the world, he has to teach his daughter, like, the ways of the fighter. So, obviously, Vidal would have made her own style, but Mr. Satan also taught her how to fight. And Vidal's pretty formidable as well. She's incredibly fast, and I think if they had a fight, Vidal would beat Mr. Satan. However, I don't think it would be as one-sided as people think it would be. So, yeah, I just thought I'd make a quick video for all of us to appreciate the greatness of the world's strongest fighter, Mr. Satan. And yeah, what do you think? Do you still think Mr. Satan's like a complete weakling? Or are you going to give him some of the map respect that he deserves? Because Mr. Satan did defeat Sal and Majin Buu after all. And he also defeated Beerus, so what the heck do I know? He's like definitely the strongest. <laughs> But anyway, if you enjoyed this video, hit the like button. Also, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell to get notifications for whenever I upload a video. And also, I have a Discord server which you guys can join. The link to it is in the description, as well as in my channel's, like, bio description. And also, my Patreon is in the description too if you want to support me there. I'm still waiting for YouTube to monetize me, so come on YouTube. But yeah, pretty much, if you want to support me there, then that's really nice of you. Thank you. And... Also, yeah, comment on other things you want me to discuss and react to. And don't forget to have an amazing day. And also, don't forget everyone, subscribe to me. Because I'm definitely 18. He'd be a person you wouldn't want to fight in a par.